This video shows you how to access your pay portal and fill in the information so that you can get paid. The first screen you'll see here is the, uh, is the login page. So if you go to eirgroup.astutepayroll.com, it'll bring up this page here. Into this link, you need to put your username that we've provided you via email, as well as the password. If you don't know what that is, just click forgot password and you just need to enter the email address that you gave us here and reset password and it will reset your password. If you're still stuck, please just contact the office um, to get some assistance. I do know my password in this instance, so I'm gonna put in my username, which is normally first name and last name, and then my password that I was provided and click login. This is the dashboard where all of your information um, is held. What you need to do in order to get set up to work is click on this profile button. And once you're in the profile, simply go to all of these nasty red little exclamation marks and complete them until there's no more left. So if I say my date of birth is the 1st of January, 1975. My street address, we put in our work address here phone number, our work number here, the town or suburb, the country is Australia, the region is the state. So that's New South Wales or SA, depending on which state you're actually in. Make sure you keep this ticked because this is where it'll give you information that you may need to have completed further. So that's where you'll see new notifications, relevant notifications. And then if we go to the next section, we'll look for what else is read up. Ah, bank account, definitely need that. Let's put the account name. This is your account name, not the bank's name. So um, let's say my name is testing, testing. That's what I put in here. My BSB number is a six digit number that the bank has provided you. Let's say it's a Commonwealth Bank BSB, then normally this, it might be something else. And your account number, take it down correctly. If you make a mistake, the bank, the money will go into that bank account and not yours. Um, so please be careful in inputting that information. The tax and super information is also important. You need to provide us with your tax file declaration, uh, tax file number and to complete your tax file declaration online. So you simply click here, you input all of your information that's asked for here and continue on. Please note, if you are a working holiday maker, you need to select working holiday maker here so that you're ta um, taxed the appropriate amount. In terms of superannuation fund, you must provide us a superannuation fund. If you do not have one, please set one up under any superannuation company you like. Our default is sunsuper.com.au. It takes about 15 seconds to set yourself up under that. So please do fill, um, get yourself a superannuation fund and then provide us that detail. What we do need you to do is enter in all of these information, all these pieces of information here. And this helps you if your super gets lost, it helps them be able to track you down. So make sure that you do complete that information there. Um, and I'll do that now. As accurately as possible. It's in your best interest to do this correctly so that your super gets paid into the correct account. And then this information is find your fund here. So when you set up your superannuation fund, it will tell you what the super funds USI is, and that's a unique super number, um, or the ABN or the spin number. Use one of these numbers that was provided to you. If you're not sure, you can look it up here under the sun superfundlookup.gov.au um, and it'll tell you um, the information there. So you can see this is Sun Super's one here. That's their ABN. So as long as you provide one piece of information here that's correct, it'll make sure that it gets into your correct super account. If we 
can't if you give us the wrong information here and we can't find the fund and we can't get in contact you with you we actually drop the money into a sun super create account that's created for you we are legally obligated to pay your superannuation so if we can't get in contact with you can't get a number from you that's where it will actually go um, you can see here it's identifying this fund for you so you say that's fine next um, and this is the member number that they would have provided you. And the num the your account name will normally just be your name. Um, so you're just putting your account name and your membership number there and pressing save. You can see I'm getting rid of, don't have that um, nasty red exclamation anymore. I still need to do the tax file declaration. Unfortunately, I can't take you all the way through that because um, you actually have to be a real person to do that. Um, but it's a relatively straight, straightforward process um, and that will remain red like that until you complete it and you'll keep on getting notifications about it until you're done. If we don't get this within 14 days of you being employed with us, we start charging you 50% tax. So as we're obligated to by, uh, by the Australian government, Australian tax office, so please make sure that that is actually completed. Okay, once you're done with all of that, you can just save and complete. Oh, I didn't save some of the information. And we're done.